Hello friends, welcome to Crack Kid CSE and in this series of algorithm today we will be discussing perfect hashing. So we are discussing perfect hashing because the worst case time complexity of double hashing was order of n and our goal is to find out or search a particular element in hashing in constant amount of time that is order of one time. So we will be discussing that in detail over here. So before starting this particular video I would like to request you all if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon too so that you can get an update whenever I am uploading any new video. So now let's start with the perfect hashing. So the in perfect hashing the worst case searching time is order of 1. Unlike the other collision resolution technique and other probing that we used, the perfect hashing is the only one which claims to have the searching time as constant that is order of 1. So here we will be using hash tables within hash table. So perfect hashing is nothing but hashing within hashing right. So here one table will be the primary table. So this will be primary hash table and whatever the hash tables are inside these primary hash tables will be the secondary will be the secondary hash table. So these are the primary hash tables and these are the secondary hash tables right. So we can write it as st0 similarly here we will be having hash table 1 hash table 2 uh, hash table 3 hash table 4 and so on right so there will be different so many hash tables right now how you can store the particular values so when it will be used in double hashing or in any other collision resolution technique what was happening at if there is a base address common for any of the key then there was some collision so this is to handle those particular collisions so these in hash tables which are inside this will be efficiently handling the collisions right how let's see let's say i am having a key value as a b and c so i am having three keys a b and c and i'm applying hash function on these three key values let's say i am getting the same address zero for all of these three that means we are getting a collision so to resolve that what we will be doing we will be moving on to this inner hash table for the 0th one that means here it will be st0 right we will be moving on to this inner hash table so there will be some hash function for this table also and on the basis of that hash function let's say the hash function is s0 we will be calculating that for each value as 0 of a as 0 of b and as 0 of c now they will be giving some values right so let's say this is 4 this is 2 and this is 0 so if this is 4 this is 2 this is 0 that means a will be mapped to the fourth place b will be mapped to the second place and c will be mapped to the zeroth place there is a possibility that some probing technique like linear probing, quadratic probing and the double hashing probing is used inside this secondary hash table, right? Similarly, let's see there are some more key values like D and E. And let's say they are mapping to this fourth place, right? So again a collision. So again we'll be using the inner function that is H4 D uh, H4 E let's say it is mapping to 0 and 2 so the d will be mapped to the 0th place and e will be mapped to the second place right so this is how the collisions can be resolved in the perfect hashing right similarly let's say for 9 also i'm having f and g so h of n and h of g let's say they are getting 9 so there is a collision so we'll be moving on to the ninth hash table hash table 9 as table 4 and so on respective values here also right so h9 if i apply this on f let's say i am getting 1 h9 if i am applying on h uh, g let's say i am getting 3 that means f will be here and g will be here so in this particular manner the collision will be resolved in perfect hashing so here you can see that if you try to search any particular uh, key then there will be very few collisions or we can say there will be no collisions 
so because of this particular hash table within the hash tables the searching time is claimed to have the constant or order of one right so this is how the perfect hashing works right so the worst case time complexity is order of one using this hash table within hash table now there are two important formulas that can be asked so these are the two formulas in which i remember that the questions asked in gate 2000 although it is 20 years back but it's worth to discuss all these formulas so if they find that what is the expected number of probes in an unsuccessful search for open addressing here we are talking about the open addressing that means the three technique like linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing so in any of these open addressing technique if they are asking that how many expected number of probes is going on in an unsuccessful search so you can find it out using the formula as 1 upon 1 minus alpha this alpha represents the load factor which is n upon m so n is what n is number of keys and m is the range or the size of the table right table size so this is how you can find out the alpha value and you can put the alpha value in here you will be getting the number of unsuccessful probes for a search right and if they are asking that how many probes are required in a successful search of open addressing then this is the formula 1 upon alpha ln 1 upon 1 minus alpha do not get confused with the log and ln ln is having base e right well log is having a different basis right so these are the two formulas which are very important for your competitive exam whether it is gate net or any other PSU exam so there are some questions which came in previous year on hashing so now from now onwards I will be discussing each and every questions of hashing which came in the previous year gate papers right so uh, just st stay with me on this particular playlist I will be giving you the complete list or the all of the questions that came in the hashing so in the next from the next video we will be discussing the questions on hashing so thank you very much for your watching and in case if you are having query uh, you can just uh, post your query on my Facebook page and Facebook group. Links are given in the description. Also, there are a few more links given in the description for the different playlists, right? You can watch those playlists also and practice the questions. So, thank you very much for watching. Keep supporting, keep learning. Have a great day.